In this video, I want to share with you the features that you can find on the Bitfinex site, how to be able to load and fund your crypto wallet on the app itself, and also show you some interesting features that makes Bitfinex one of the sites that many crypto whales love to use. Let's get those credits rolling. Bitfinex was founded in 2012 and the crypto market started in 2009. This means that this is a company that you can rely on to be able to do your crypto trades. As at the time of recording this video, Bitfinex in terms of volume in the last 24 hours did over $671 million in terms of trading volume. The site has over 100 cryptocurrencies and over 300 different market pairs available just for sport. In the derivatives market, in the last 24 hours, they did $158 million. So what makes Bitfinex a site that you should get on today? One of the awesome things about Bitfinex is the low trading fees. If you are doing a crypto transaction on spot, there is a fee that you usually pay. Bitfinex has among the lowest trading fees in the market today, thus helping you to save as much as possible when you are doing your trades. The next thing is the fact that this is a site that caters for the newbie as well as the expert trader. If you are a newbie, then the app on phone is usually the one that I would advise for you to use because it has simpler metrics that you can be able to understand and I'll actually show you the way it simply works. If you're an expert, you can make use of the desktop version which would actually have even more details that you would need in order to do your technical analysis. The first thing we are going to do is sign up on the site. In the first link in the description below and on the screen, you'll see my personal affiliate link. When you click on it, Bitfinex knows Mumo sent you. The thing that you will do is if you sign up on your phone, this particular referral code needs to be input as you're signing up. So what we are actually going to do is on the site, just place in your email address, place in the username that you want to use, your password, make sure that this is a strong password, eight characters, add an uppercase, lowercase, number and special character, and then country of residence is a country where you actually live and do your business at, and then my personal referral code is here and then you can actually click and say please send me bitfinex marketing emails click on sign up this will actually help you to have created your account on bitfinex once you have logged in go under account just at the top right click on verification which will bring you to this screen and you will need to do verification in order to get more features enabled so for my particular profile i've actually done intermediate which actually required me to have a physical meeting with someone from Bitfinex. This is something that you do if you want to be able to deposit and withdraw for stable coins. For most of you, the very fast level may work, but I would advise to do the higher levels of verification. Additionally, what I learned is the passport is a stronger document in verification than the national id so for level two you can use the national id for level three which is the one i'm on i had to now do a physical meeting in lieu of the passport but if you use the passport that will actually work level four which most people may never need to do but would be good if you're going to do larger trades is which will require you to actually put in your bank statement and this actually enables you to also use bitfinex pay which merchants can be able to use to accept 
payments in crypto as well. Here we are on the homepage of Bitfinex. There are different sections for different users. The first is for traders. Traders can be able to actually see different things, different features, mobile app, market statistics, the Bitfinex terminal. If you're a corporate, there is also a section for you and the different fees. We had talked about that a little earlier. Then security, API, documentation, payment cards, and a reporting tool. And then for lenders, for people who come onto the platform to either stake or to borrow on the platform, this is where you would go. There is staking, there is lending pro, and there is Bitfinex borrow. In other videos, I'll actually show you how to be able to do this and then about us you can be able to see everything there is to know about Bitfinex so what we'll do is we'll click here return to platform so that we can be able to actually see the trading platform on the platform it's really simple and you can do this on your desktop as well as on mobile what i want us to be able to do first of all is to deposit onto the platform remember if you're going to do deposit then you do need to verify your account so i'll click on deposit under deposit we are going to use our card in order to be able to do this transaction so at the very top you'll see payment cards that's what we'll click on and at the moment of recording this video there are three processors that are available on the site different fees for different cards the one i prefer is mercurio you can use either Mercurio or Simplex. I've used both of them. They have different fees. It's a very small difference really. In this particular video, I'll use Mercurio and the available coins under Mercurio is Bitcoin, USDT, Ethereum, Tron, Algorand, and BAT. I'll select Mercurio and just scroll a little down so that you can be able to see exactly what you'll be doing. So we'll select currency. We can select Bitcoin. And there are two ways of actually setting how much you are going to buy you can actually place the amount of bitcoin that you want to buy or place the amount in usd of the bitcoin that you want to buy so in my case i want to buy 50 dollars worth and that will give me 0 0.00207879 and i want it to go to the exchange wallet so you can actually set you want it either to go to the exchange the margin or funding wallet for most of us the exchange wallet is what we want and then it will give me the address that is going to be deposited into and there is a notice as well which tells you that mercury is a third party service and once you've read through it which i have already done i'll click on i understand and want to continue and then we'll click on proceed to payment here you'll just click on accept this next screen actually shows you the details of the transaction that you're doing the amount that we are going to spend is about 50 dollars to buy 0.00207879 btc the rate that each btc is at the time that we're recording this video then there is a card fee of 2.17 and in total what we'll spend is 50.19 all we'll just do is come and click on buy put in your card details and this amount immediately will be transferred to your exchange wallet which is what i will show you next in order for us to be able to see the bitcoin that we've just purchased you'll go under wallet and then click on wallets then you will see the bitcoin that we have just purchased 0 0.002076 and the current usd value right now shows at 47.5 because there was a charge of about two dollars and something from the card itself we can be able to now do other trades if we want if we want to convert this btc to a Another crypto we can be able to do that if we want to stake this we can actually be able to do that and that's a simple way on how you can be able to buy any single crypto on the Bitfinex exchange in a future video I'll show you how to navigate the derivatives which is now how to place a future trade on the Bitfinex site see you in the next one